Welcome everyone to Easy Code Is, the website where you, the users, determine what features I will be implementing. If there's something you want to learn about when coding a website, leave a comment below and I just might make a video about it. In this video, we are learning about, what are we learning about? Oh, yep, uh, full screen video backgrounds with HTML and CSS. In this video, we will be coding up a home page with a full screen video background. On top of the video, we will place some text. If the user scrolls down, they will see some content. This is where we will be at at the end of this video. Here we have our full screen video background. On top of it, I have some text. If I scroll down, I have some content. And no matter what size the browser is, the video is always going to take up the full height and width of our browser. And when I scroll down, our content will be there. Our site is also mobile friendly. If I scroll down to, I think I set it to 800, anything less than 800 and the video does not play, it gets displayed none and we just replace it with an image. The first thing we need is a video and a image. The video is for the video background on desktop and the image is for mobile devices. I'm gonna place those in a folder and call that folder assets. I'm gonna grab onto my background image and background video and place them in the assets folder. So I got my background underscore video, mp4, and I got my background underscore video underscore image, png. Back up to the root directory, I'm going to create a new folder and we're going to call this CSS. In here is where we will have our styles for our homepage. Create a home.css style sheet. Lastly, back up in our root directory, we need our index file. That is our homepage. Create that right there and we're ready to code. So I'm going to head over to Sublime. So I'm going to open up my home page and my CSS file. I'm going to set the view to two columns, styles on the right and our home page on the left. First thing we're going to do is set up our HTML structure. Here's our basic HTML structure. In the head, we have our title, we have a viewport on there so it looks good on mobile, and we include our home.css style sheet. Now, the first thing we're going to need is a video. So I've added my video. Hop over to the browser here and it looks like this. Simple video tag with no styles or no attributes looks just like this. I'm going to hop back over to the code here, and there's a few things we need to add. First, we need to add autoplay. So when the page loads, the video starts. We also need to make sure it's muted. And we want it to loop because this is only a short video, and so we want to keep the video going while the user is on our homepage. We refresh this, and we see our video is autoplaying muted, and it will loop. So let's hop back over to the code and add a few styles in here. The first style we're going to do is our body style. You notice in the browser there was a... There's a, you see this padding over here? We gotta get rid of that on the body. So we're gonna do padding zero, margin zero, and that will get rid of the padding and margin. There we go, the video's all the way to the edge of the screen. Now we're gonna hop back over to Sublime, and we're gonna add our image. This is the image we will use for mobile devices, because we don't want to render the video on mobile devices. It's too big, too many megabytes, blah, blah, blah. So we're gonna just display them a simple image. Now that we have our video and our image, we need to get these styled up so that they only display on the correct device. So I'm gonna give this a class and I'm gonna copy that to the image and we're gonna call this the background video image. We're gonna hop over to our CSS file and it's time to create some media queries. The first media, we are gonna set this to be the desktop view. So anything we place in here is going to happen when the screen is bigger than 800 pixels. We copy this and paste it down here and say max width. This is going to be our mobile view, anything less than 800 pixels. The first thing we want to do is set this to display none on mobile. On the desktop, we want to display it as block. Same thing for this video image. We will display this as none on desktop. On mobile, we want to display it. So we'll set this display block with a width of 100%. See how that looks in the browser. I refresh this page. 
video's still there. Good so far. If I scroll this down to less than 800, the video should go away and the image should pop up right there. Breakpoint. Now it's time to make these things actually look pretty on our homepage. So I'm going to create a div that's going to wrap both of these things. This is going to be our container. I'm going to give this a class of background video container. Copy this over to our home.css and style this one up. Here's the styles we have on our background video container. We're going to go to position absolute and we're going to set it top, right, bottom, left, all to zero. Overflow hidden will remove the scroll bars that we saw when we loaded up our page. And the Z index is going to put it in the back. That way we can have an overlay on top of it and we can have text on top of it because it's a background video. So refreshing the page, I see the scroll bars are gone and I just got my video. The next div I'm going to add is going to make the video darker. We're going to place a div over the whole video and we're going to give it a background of black but it's going to have an opacity which is going to let you see through that black div so the video is going to appear darker. We'll copy this class and we're going to paste this inside of the desktop media query. So there's our vi background video overlay class. It's going to be 100% height and width, position absolute, just like our video was. And the background is going to be black, but we're going to give a little bit of opacity so we can see through it. Refresh that and look at that. Oh, it looks like we missed something. Oh, we didn't define our video element. Paste this right here, and we're going to define our video element. Okay, so now we have our video element defined. It's always going to be like this, and the media queries are just specifying when it's going to display or not. So we're going to position absolute, we're going to give it a top left 50%, we're going to always set it to 100%, give it a width height of auto, and set it in the background, negative 100. Transformations here are to make all the browsers happy. And this is just making sure that the video is always centered. As you make the browser smaller and smaller and smaller, you're always going to see the center of the video. Refreshing our page, we see we have our overlay now. And our video is full screen. There's that nice dark div over top of the video with that opacity, so we can see through it. Now it's time to put that text over top of the video. Got our div defined here. We created a class and named it background video text overlay. We're going to copy this class and paste it in our styles. So the styles we're giving the background video text overlay are similar to the video. However, this will be on top of the video because we have a Z index of negative 100 on the video. Absolute top 50 50. We're going to text transform it so it's always 50 50. We're going to get a color of white and a nice big font size. Our video text overlay is centered on top of the video. No matter what size our screen is, our video text overlay is always in the center of the screen. However, when we drag it to mobile, we still have a bit of a problem. You see our easy code is text is still at the center of the browser, not the center of the image up there. Back in our styles, we want to set this to position relative on our mobile device. We copy that right into our media screen where it's mobile. After that, we want to make sure the video overlay with the opacity is set to none. We don't need this on mobile because the image is already dark enough and the text will look good on top of it. Last but not least, we want to tone down the font size, so we're going to set that to 30 pixels on mobile. Then we're going to refresh our browser, and we're going to see if this looks good on a mobile device. Drag it down. There we go. Now our title is centered inside of our image. All that's left to do is add some content below the video. I call this class content. In order to make this content appear below the video, we need to set the content to be margin top of 100% of the height of the screen. On desktop, I'm going to set a content class and I'm going to give it that margin. 
So what I've done here is I've set the margin to 100% of the viewport height. 100% of the viewport height means the content's gonna start just under it, which is just under our video. Now I'm just gonna create a little bit of content here. All right, so I have some content in here, centering the content, giving it some margin top and bottom. We're gonna give it some padding on the inside and we're going to give ourselves some content. So we only specify the content class in the desktop version. This is because on the mobile version, we do not want the content at 100% of the screen because on mobile, we're seeing that image. So the content just needs to be right below that image, not below 100% height of the viewport. If we refresh this page, everything's looking good. Easy code is. We see a scroll bar on the side. Scroll down a little bit, and hey, there's our content. Let's see how that looks on mobile. Drag down the browser. Keep going, keep going. Video's 100% still. Look at that. Switches to an image with the text and our content stays right up, right below the image. All right, only one thing left to do, and, and that is to give ourselves a little nicer font because I can't stand that default web font. It's gross. I'm gonna head over to Google. I'm gonna go to Google Fonts. The font I'm looking for is Coda. There we go, this one right here. Looks good, looks a lot better than our default font. We're gonna scroll down. Where's the select button? Select, select font, where are you? Oh, it's at the top, select font, select font, select font. And family selected, we copy the embed link right there. We hop back over to our code, place this in the head section, just like that. And then in our styles, under the body, we can specify our font family. And in this case, it is Coda. Copy Coda, paste it right there. Now we can go back to our web page. Look at that gross looking font and refresh it. Now it's looking clean. There you have it. We've created a full screen video background for our homepage using HTML and CSS. That's gonna do it for this video. Like and subscribe down below if this video is helpful and leave a comment. Let me know what you wanna learn and see implemented next. Remember, easy code is, and I'll catch you later.